Now, I have exactly 4 hours and 7 minutes. Hello, everybody. Ready to remote perfect, I'm in my dormitory. Hey everybody, it's Real Not Perfect, cue the montage. Yes, you probably read it correctly. Roblox. Some of you have met me directly through Discord, now I met our epic friend Roblox back in 2021. Roughly, I think around August-ish, I think. Yes, I was that late to the entire platform. It's also possible I never would have even tried it if not for the, yes, you probably predicted it, the pandemic, and the subsequent lockdown. Here are my personal top five and worst five games, all based on my own experience. This is not based on popularity. This is based on unusual reasons coming in at number 5, Isolator. Frankly, this game gave me nightmares, but everyone knows I'm a fan of intentionally defying and rebelling against the things that I used to be afraid of as a child, and if you read my not even proofread web novel, you likely know that I have actual diagnosed PTSD. Isolator is a game where you wake up in an unknown place, you have one teammate, you rely on your teammate as much as they rely on you to escape the very unnerving, abandoned, scary, kinda spooky, empty, substances filled warehouse. I have seen worse places in real life. Number four, Hysteria. Alright, so many of you know I've straight up advertised for their game in the past. I own a tier 4 guild in this game. In Vestaria, you explore an extremely beautifully made world. You get to pick if you want to be a fast moving dagger person, a dude holding two things at once, or a funny person in a hat. AKA, you choose from the hunter, the warrior, or the mage. All my videos are late uploads usually, so they might have the bard now, which is a new thing. And the, um, the necromancer? Shadow dancer? Black. Panther? Something? Yeah, I sometimes sing while I play this game. Just because haters gonna hate. You team up with people, make friends, and laugh at trolls, or become one yourself. The game also kinda makes you advocate against illegal drugs because the game makes you destroy mushrooms, but then like you sell the mushrooms or you give them to someone, something like that. I don't really know. I play Roblox because it's funny. At number three, we have Evade. Two main reasons for this one. One, oh my goodness, it's hilarious. Even though I never recognize the memes and have to ask chat GPT about them. Two, you get to virtually be kind of surrounded by people who may or may not have ADHD. I mean, I may or may not have actual diagnosed PTSD, so, uh, yeah. At number two, work at a pizza place. I love, 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 love this one. Why? Because it's different from my actual IRL physical job that I physically go to. Yeah, that's about it. In work at a pizza place, you... You...
you work at a pizza place. At number one, okay. Now, I understand that Brookhaven, Pet Simulator, Dead Wars, Block Fruits, Adopt Me, Murder Mystery, etc., etc., are extremely popular, but my personal number one, my restaurant. Exclamation point. Yes, the exclamation point is an actual part of the game's name, as of the making of this video, at least. Why is this my number one? <laughs> Same reason as the one in rank number two. Let's move on to the five worst Roblox games that I have ever played. Please note 9,000 times that this is just my experience. Personally, for all I know, maybe the makers of these games are amazing people. But all right, now that I've said that, at number five, Isolator. Yes, simultaneously. Did I name this as my favorite rank number five? Yes, I did. And it is also my number five in most disliked because why does a game that tries to be about problem solving have RNG? RNG! In a double escape room isolation cell problem solving game, I have played this so many times now. And each time you play it, it is not up to you at all if you win or not. Again, all my stuff is usually kind of late upload type stuff, so maybe they fixed it. I don't know, man. Ranking number four of the worst. Da Hood. Okay, I don't know which came first, Da Hood or Baddies, but it's literally just a worse version of Baddies. Number three, Flood Escape 2. I'm sorry, why did you make this game? <laughs> okay, but like, why would you make a game like this? Number two, PSGA, which I think is something, something Gymnastics Academy, I think. Frankly, whoever coded this game is so talented. The only thing I don't like, but enough to move this game, which is about gymnastics, up to number two, is there's no feature to really compose an actual routine. Yes, you can quote unquote equip skills, flips, turns, twists, somersaults. We call them skills or elements, and you can manually, mentally put one together, which is cool in your mind, but you can't save one and come back to it later and then upgrade it. But thank you to the developer for putting the commonly seen male version of the gymnast salute and not just the two-armed version, and for, I think, the press handstand too. Okay, welcome everybody to worst Roblox game number one. Honorable mentions before we do that, and shoutouts are for Flood Escape 1, SCP-3008, Aftermath, which I never purchased, but it's free on weekends, Paintball 1 and 2, and The Sims, which literally isn't even a Roblox game. But I guess that counts as a shoutout. I want to thank my friends Gino and Jamie and Annette and Lila for making this video possible, each in their own ways. Now, do you remember how I said this wasn't a list based on popularity, that this was more experience-based or for more unusual, in quotes, reasons. Well, guess what? This one game managed somehow to accomplish all the negative things in both of those areas. Say hello and simultaneously goodbye to the Lost Land, in addition to averaging a rating of anywhere from 60% to 70 and then I think maybe 78 on a good day. My reason for this as my number one worst is not what you'd think. I started playing this a few weeks ago. I clicked on it on a whim. Even though both images used to portray the game are horrible, I was impressed. I liked it. Beautiful scenery, cute trees, fruits, you can sell vegetables and strawberries and mangoes, cook food, which I can't do in real life, and enjoy the beach while simultaneously drinking banana juice. Yes, you guys, as of the making of this video, banana juice is a thing in the game. Damn, I love banana juice. <laughs> but upon the release of the remastered, in quotes, version, two things happened. One, they charged money in the form of purchased Robux, which of course I didn't buy from their loyal players. After a bit of profit, they made it free. But some people who were loyal and spent money felt cheated. That is still not my main story here. Reason two, and the bigger reason, in the remastered version, you select an artifact, or essentially some type of superpower. By some dumb magic, the game seemed to select one for me. You have a bunch of options, and it selected one on its own. I brought it up to the game's official staff via Discord. After supporting the game so much, so much, 
only to not only be treated by some of the staff rudely and passive aggressively and immaturely, but also for my entire support ticket to be just totally closed with no resolution. Only one member of the staff even remotely acknowledged that there was a problem. The person who had the power to do something, the power to do something at all, closed my ticket. No resolution, nothing offered. It was only when, and I will repeat, only when I brought up the issue in front of everyone else that I got any kind of actual response. And then when providing the proof that I could and screenshots in front of everyone, a particular individual who is one, a staff member, and two, frankly, please grow the F up and get a job where you don't give therapy to people because you cannot do that, because you make no sense, and people do not want to listen to you, and because two, you are not an individual who should be staff at all, and you know it. But Karma is my boyfriend, so I left your server. And I left that server after I saw the server support a content creator, in quotes, who not only went out of their way to DM me an insult, which was nice, because everyone knows I love attention. I love, 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 love attention. It kind of, it doesn't necessarily always matter what kind, depending on who's giving it to me. But that content creator used slavery as a selling concept to get more views on their TikTok videos. Yes, that's correct. They used slavery. I can't even say that word. They used slavery and literally hashtag slavery. I left their server because karma is a thing. I'm going to go to the gym and do a bunch of flips for a half hour now. Bye. I'm just lighting a candle while you're watching big nights You speed into an end zone, you put up a good fight